Hello everyone, this is Shuang Yue Yu from Biomechatronics and Intelligent Robotic Lab, the city colleague of New York. My supervisor is Dr. Hao Su and our lab are mainly focused on developing high-performance exoskeleton and soft robots. In this presentation, we propose a quasi-direct drive actuation system for a lightweight hip exoskeleton with high durability and high bandwidth. Our developed hip exoskeleton system is lightweight, high back durability, high control bandwidth, and high nominal torque output. We will highlight the development of this system and the experimental validation to demonstrate its capabilities. Before we begin, let's briefly discuss why we might want high performance exoskeletons. Workplace injuries, particularly in physical demanding jobs, are common throughout the world. In the United States, approximately 2.8 million non-fatal workplace injuries occurred in 2070 alone. In China, over 3 million cases of disabilities can be attributed to workplace injuries. The application of exoskeleton for able-bodied people in physical demanding jobs may allow for in injury prevention and even human augmentation, enabling the lifting of heavy loads, for example. A system exoskeleton in the workplace may be a tremendous in innovation towards a healthier work environment. Besides, those in need of a mobility assistance in their everyday lives also stand to gain significantly from the development of the portable exoskeletons. Individuals who have lost mobilities, such as the elderly and disabilities with disorder, may be able to regain mobility with the assistance of a robotic exoskeleton system. Our motivation of this paper is to develop a high-performance portable exoskeleton which has potential of usage for able-bodied and disabilities. Many challenges of the power lower lamp exoskeletons restrict the development of portable exoskeleton that can be used during activity of daily living. The state-of-the-art system are highly and heavy and bulky, increasing human metabolic cost, or they are not portable at all, but tethered and thus useful only in laboratory or clinical settings. Many of these issues come down to the robotic drive system for these exoskeletons, which tend to use low-torque motors with rigid transmissions. In addition, this system tends to relate on some prescriptive movement like a steady constant gait and don't allow for quick change that human open make so naturally in the real world. To address this problem, we have developed an ultra lightweight actuator and integra integrated this into a bilateral exoskeleton to allow for comfortable and portable mobility assistance. This brings us to our quasi-direct drive actuator. There are three actuation paradigms for co-robot actuation design. The conventional actuation paradigm based robots use high speed but low torque motor high racial gear and force or torque sensors for actuator design, which has high control bandwidth but low back durability and efficiency. The series elastic actuation paradigm based robots use the extra screen elements and encoder sensors for actuator design, which compromise bandwidth to achieve bad drivabilities. Quasi direct drive actuation is a new paradigm that leverage on high torque density motor and low racial gear that has high performance on control bandwidth, back durability, and efficiency. The proposed quadratic drive actuation paradigm, also be well known as proprioceptive actuator, adopts high performance in cheetah like the robots which are developed by MIT team. As can be seen in the video clip here, back durability allows the device to achieve low impedance or high compliance, and thus this actuator will rotate under various loads. For our users, this essential means that if the actuator is turned off, they are able to use their line as usual without feeling restrained by the exoskeleton. Both control bandwidth and back abilities are important for co robots. High control bandwidth system and quick response to the change of the environment and desired for high frequency movement of unexpected events. And highly back highly back drivable system will in intrinsically not restrict human natural motion. As shown in the chart here, previously systems have been enabled to meet both of these requirements. However, 
our quality director system was designed specifically to fulfill both of its important needs. Another important design criteria for human assistance actuators is the ability to achieve high torque output at low speed. We are desired to develop human muscle type actuator. Conventional actuators such as DC motors only offer slow torque and high speed and are only able to meet the torque speed requirement of human users through non-backdrivable non gear reduction. Our motor, however, achieve high torque and low speed with only a small gear reduction, allowing for the necessary torque and speed while not impeding backdrivability. In addition, our motor has exceptional torque density with a mass of only 244 grams and a nominal torque of 2 Nm for a torque density of over 7 Nm per kilogram, which has about nine times higher than commercial commercial, commercial pancake motor. We integrated this motor into a complete actuation system consisting of an A21 gearbox, motor controller, and a magnetic encoder. This complete actuation system with only 777 grams is low profile and has a high rated torque output of 70.5 Nm. This actuator serves as a crit critical component in our robotic team and skeleton. To evaluate the performance of proposed quality director of actuation, we developed the human axle interaction model and simulated control bandwidth and drivability performance for all the three actuation paradigms. As can be seen from the top plot, bandwidth is significantly improved via the use of a quality direct drive system, where the torque required to backdrive the actuator is significantly reduced, resulting in superior backdrivability. With the quality direct drive actuator successfully designed, we next move to integrating this actuator into a portable hip exoskeleton. As can be seen in the table here, our quality direct drive actuator not only achieved excellent control bandwidth and backdrivability, but also achieved significantly higher torque density as well compared to existing advanced hip exoskeleton technologies, making it an excellent actuator for improving human assistance of mobility. We combine this quality direct drive system with a comfortable frame and side brace to allow for robotic actuation of the hip. We also incorporate a control board wireless inertial measurement unit sensors and low cells to provide angular and false feedback from bidirectional actuation and torque control of the hip joints. In this video clip, we can see how easily the exoskeleton can be done in two minutes. This is important to ensure ease of the usability. Here we can see that the exoskeleton does not impede the user's kinematics allowing for freedom of motion across all degrees of freedom. It is also important that the exoskeleton can be easily doffed or removed in one minute. And of course, with regarding of function, this system must allow for varying working speed without impeding the users. We see here the exoskeleton is able to easily track the user at the speed of 0 0.8, 1.1, and 1.4 meters meter per second separately. Our benchtop experiment demonstrated that this system can produce 7.5 Newton meter of rated torque and 45 Newton meter of peak torque. And in practice with human users, we were able to achieve 20 Newton meter of torque assistance. To more fully characterize char the system, we also conducted spicy specific evaluation experiments on the actuation and fully hip exoskeleton. In this plot, we can see the result of the thermal load testing and that what conduce, we conducted. The actuator is able to provide 70.5 70 Newton of continuous torque at 70 and, and 7.5 amp without overheating. To ensure the responsiveness of the system, we also performed a frequency analysis to demonstrate the bandwidth of the exoskeleton system while under the torque control. As can be seen here, the torque controller is able to achieve a bandwidth of 62.5 plus, far outside the range of any typical human motion. The backdrivability of the overall system was, 
also evaluated. This plot shows that the maximum torque required to backdrive the exoskeleton is approximately 0.4 Nm. Finally, we evaluated the torque controller's ability to successfully maintain 20 Nm torque assistance of one human using user during walking and squatting activities. The system demonstrated a maximum of 6.35% root mean square error while walking at 1.4 meter per second speed and performs even better at a lower speed. In addition, the system successfully treated the squatting activity with only 3.65% root mean square error. In conclusion, we have developed a high-performance quasi-direct drive attrition-based hip exoskeleton. This system is lightweight, highly backdrivable, with high control bandwidth and a high nominal torque output. While human performance data is still needed to further validate the utility of the system and to demonstrate improved performance over state of the art, we believe we have made a success, success, significant step toward a truly portable robotic assistant hip exoskeleton. Thank you for listening, and of course, thank you for the confer conference organizer, our collaborators, and the funding resource for the project.